Leo, a young boy with bright, curious eyes, lived in a small cottage on the edge of Whispering Woods. Every day, he would venture into the woods, eager to uncover its secrets. The trees whispered secrets to him in the rustling leaves. The birds sang him songs of faraway lands. Leo loved the woods as if they were his own secret garden. One sunny afternoon, as Leo ambled through the woods, a flash of blue caught his eye. It shimmered behind a curtain of vines. Curiosity bubbled inside him like a potion. He pushed aside the vines and gasped. There, nestled between the trees, was a cave he'd never seen before. The blue shimmer seemed to emanate from within. With a deep breath, Leo entered the cave. It was surprisingly spacious. Sunbeams pierced through cracks in the ceiling, illuminating the dusty air. As his eyes adjusted, he noticed something extraordinary. In the center of the cave lay a creature so large it took his breath away. It was a dinosaur. A brontosaurus, to be exact, with scales the color of moss and eyes like melted chocolate. The brontosaurus blinked slowly, its gaze meeting Leo's. Fear should have gripped him, but all Leo felt was wonder. The creature seemed as surprised to see him as he was to see it. It let out a soft rumble, a sound like distant thunder. In that moment, Leo knew he had stumbled upon something truly magical. Leo cautiously approached the brontosaurus, his heart pounding with a mixture of fear and excitement. He reached out a hesitant hand and touched its enormous leg. The scales were surprisingly warm and smooth, like polished stones. Hello, Leo whispered, his voice barely audible in the vastness of the cave. To his amazement, the brontosaurus dipped its head slightly, as if acknowledging his greeting. Leo felt a surge of happiness. He knew then that this creature meant him no harm. He decided to name him Bronto. Days turned into weeks and Leo's visits to Bronto became a daily ritual. He would bring him fresh fruit and vegetables from his garden, which Bronto would devour with a contented rumble. In return, Bronto shared his stories of a time long ago, a time when dinosaurs ruled the earth. Leo listened with rapt attention, his imagination soaring with every tale. Bronto, despite his massive size, was a gentle giant. He would let Leo climb onto his back, his scales providing surprisingly comfortable seating. Together, they would explore the deepest parts of Whispering Woods. They discovered hidden waterfalls cascading into crystal clear pools. They encountered mischievous squirrels and chattering monkeys who seemed to accept Bronto as one of their own. Each day brought a new adventure, each one more exciting than the last. Leo learned to understand Bronto's language, a series of rumbles, grunts and snorts. He discovered that Bronto was not from this time. He was a time traveller, stranded in Leo's present. One day, while exploring a particularly dense part of the woods, Leo stumbled and fell, twisting his ankle. The pain brought tears to his eyes. Bronto, sensing his distress, gently lifted Leo with his trunk and carried him back to the cave. He lay Leo down on a bed of soft moss and watched over him with a worried expression. Bronto's concern touched Leo deeply. He knew that Bronto cared for him as much as he cared for Bronto. Their bond had grown stronger than he could have ever imagined. <laughs>